Hello, friends of the Christian Television Network and CTNI International. We are so delighted that you have tuned in wherever you find yourself tonight. Truly, times are refreshing do come from the presence of the Lord. And my guest is from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. You're a pastor, an author, and a wonderful worshiper and music person of the Lord. I'd like to welcome to the set Pastor Ken Wood. Thank you. It's great to be here. Well, it's an honor to have you here, and uh, we're coming to you from our television studios right here in Southwest Florida. Some of you may know that we tape in Southwest Florida, sometimes on the road, but most of the time out of this studio that God has given us, and we're grateful for Bob DeAndre, our founder of the Christian Television Network, who allows us to continue to bring this program forth. And mm -hmm. uh, we are so honored again that you are here, Pastor Ken. You have such a very unique ministry. You're, <laughs> as we were talking off camera, your main instrument is, is the keyboard, and, and, but the right. flute is amazing. I've not heard too many people that play with such a spirit of worship the way you do. Mm -hmm. And I, I heard your wonderful CD a few months ago, and a friend of ours uh, that we're mutually acquainted with uh, told us you were coming into town. So mm -hmm. I was like, man, we got to have Pastor Ken on the set and, and share this gift to the body Thanks. of Christ. So praise God. Uh, you know, uh, before we get into your, your music album, Pastor Ken, tell us a little bit about your background. And obviously you pastor Revolution Church in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Right. Right. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about that and kind of your journey, who God made you to be. <laughs> uh, this is a church that my wife and I founded four years ago. But before mm -hmm. that, uh, we were very much involved in uh, music ministry and before that even youth ministry and even before that children's ministry you know growing up in church but music has always been a part of my life I started playing piano taking lessons at age five up to about age 11 uh, hated every minute of it <laughs> <laughs> and uh, closed the lid at age 11 but at age 13 I really uh, told the Lord I was down at an altar in front uh, um, well, there was a piano, a grand piano next to me, and someone that was about three years older than me at that time uh, was playing the piano mm. and was just worshiping God. And I said, God, I want to do something for you. And he said, remember all those lessons? <laughs> and I said, you mean the ones I hated? <laughs> he said, yes, I want you to pick that back up. So I started mm. playing piano again. And then, of course, the age of electronic keyboards hit, you know, in the yeah. early 70s. And so uh, I quickly took to that because now I could not only just play the piano, but I could play the organ. I could play the you know anything that those keyboards could produce. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, that's just been kind of nonstop. And that really, um, uh, when the Lord did that in my life uh, at age 13, all of a sudden the the drive and the determination, the passion to play piano and do music you know, uh, had a purpose, and that was to really worship the Lord. And mm. began writing at age 15, and from there it was just, uh, you know, worship, being involved with that. Uh, I even spent some time out in uh, the advertising industry writing jingles. and <laughs> Wrote for Barks Root Beer and several others like that. Just a lot of fun stuff. But uh, my heart was really always in just bringing God glory through music. Uh, a couple of years ago, um, kind of leading up to why I'm playing the Irish Whistle now, I, yeah. um, I heard this song on the radio called The Theme to Titanic with Celine Dion. And yeah. I hear this haunting instrument in there, and I go, what is that? And then about that same time, the PBS station up in Oklahoma City was running um, Lord of the Dance. And there's wow. this little, the opening sequence has someone playing an Irish Whistle. And there's that same sound. And so I tracked it down, found out what it was, bought one, and then found an, um, an album with Irish Whistle music on it by Joni Madden called uh, Wind of the Irish Whistle. And um, I bought that and just began to learn how to play the whistle from there. Wow. And this is a whole lot easier to carry along in your pocket, you know, than a grand piano. So it was nice to have an instrument I could go with. That's right. And that <laughs> thing is so beautiful. And we're getting ready to hear you in just a moment. Before we do, uh, you, you got this CD called Portals of Heaven. And one of the songs we're about to hear is called The Secret Place. Right. Why don't you tell us about that song, why that song was birthed. And we'll get into your album more in, mm -hmm. after we come back after the song. Sure. Uh, the concept of Portals to Heaven came from uh, an experience I had where uh, the Lord was just speaking to me about, you know, portal songs mm -hmm. are some of my best portals to heaven. The Bible says mm -hmm. He inhabits the praises of His people. And so we, uh, you know, can really experience the presence of God and, and really come into a place, a heavenly place, uh, through music, through praise, and through worship. And this particular album uh, and The Secret Place 
is just reflective of being able to spend time in the presence of God. Uh, this is called soaking music. So yeah. uh, basically what that means is uh, instead of just coming into a time of prayer where you're doing all talking, yeah. this is more just experiencing God and enjoying mm. the relationship and listening uh, for God Beautiful. to speak to you in this. And so the secret place is all about that place where you really encounter God face to face. Amen. And friend, you're watching Times Are Refreshing. And let the Lord take you to your secret place tonight. And we'll be right back with more with Pastor Ken Wood as you enjoy the secret place. And we'll be talking more with Pastor Ken and his heart for worship and the music gift that God has given him.
Praise God, Pastor Ken. Uh, mm -hmm. Truly, that's healing in that music, and that's the purpose of why we do the show, Times of Refreshing, to get a behind the scenes of some of these wonderful music guests that our viewers get to see weekly right mm -hmm. here on the CTN network. And, you know, it's, it's awesome to see someone that keeps the purity within their music and haven't allowed mm -hmm. it to become commercialized. And obviously they can go to, your website is portalstoheaven.com, is that correct? Portalstoheaven.com, yes. Portalstoheaven.com. And, and they can order right there. Portalstoheaven.com, right. okay? And so then they can order right there if they want it. And it's a great CD to pray to, as you said, to soak in mm -hmm. God's presence. And what, what kind of, uh, you know, have you heard any testimonies of healings or anything taking place as people listen to this music? Yeah, one of the things that we wanted to do because we have um, such an emphasis on healing in at our church in our ministry mm -hmm. um, in Acts 19 it talks about people bringing handkerchiefs and aprons to Paul uh, and he would anoint those and then those mm -hmm. would go back to the people and um, you know they would be instantly healed or mm -hmm. the, the evil spirits would immediately leave the body as the handkerchief was placed mm -hmm. on them and uh, we said I, I remember the Lord just one time speaking to me saying, Ken, you know, you can be creative. It doesn't have to be handkerchiefs and aprons. So we said, okay, we got the CD coming out. We'll, uh, we'll just pray and anoint that. And so we had our, our wow. people at the church just really pray for this. And we've had uh, several testimonies. And you can actually access those at the portalstoheaven.com website and, and go to the uh, menu item called blog. Mm -hmm. And you can see some of the reports coming in. Uh, one, one lady who was uh, driving along uh, came into an intersection, and there was another car that ran a stop mm -hmm. sign and T-boned her right on her side. Wow. And she said, I was listening to the CD, and she said, even though it happened uh, where I would have normally just been frenetic and just nervous and shaken, she said, I experienced the peace of God like like in a bubble and she wow. said I also uh, escaped totally unharmed not even a scratch the Lord had just protected her and to me you know that's that's what we we prayed for that's that was the whole reason yeah. behind this was to get that out there for people to really be able to experience the presence of God wherever they're listening to it that's wonderful, man. And again, that's why we do even this show, Times are Refreshing, Acts yeah. 319. Great concept. I love so, it. So, uh, but we just thank God when we can find someone that really has a heard of a worshiper. And, uh, you know, we know that worship's not a song, but a lifestyle, but that mm -hmm. what flows from that is that music. And so it's just, right. it's beautiful. Now, you, you've done other songs on this, on this CD, Portals to Heaven, but what are some of your future aspirations with the music platform that God has given you? Yeah, well, uh, I write a lot of worship. Uh -huh. uh, singing type courses and things yeah, like that. Yeah, you play uh, the piano as well. So. And, yes, and <laughs> uh, but uh, I really do love the whole uh, what we call the soaking music genre. Now, this uh -huh. is the, you know the, uh -huh. the music that you get in the presence of God with, and uh, I really fully intend to uh, produce another album. In fact, uh, the next song that I think we're going to play is going to sure. be on that. It's called "The Way of Love," and every one of these songs uh, has a picture behind it. it there's a visual I, yeah, I was thinking of a place I was thinking of certain things happening in this next song uh, the way of love uh, just think of Jesus going from uh, where he was uh, beaten and walking all the way down mm. uh, what we know as the Via Della Rosa going up to the cross the way of love wow that's beautiful and you know it reminds me of John 14 6 I am the way the truth and the life mm. And um, no one comes to the Father except through Him. And, and yeah. it's amazing how music can transcend all ethnic and religious boundaries. You know, all this man-made denominations and mm -hmm. things that and music can transcend that. And um, especially music that brings healing to the heart. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah. I think that, you know, our world is so busy today mm -hmm. that sometimes, unfortunately, we let that busyness crowd our life and we don't make time to get in God's presence right. where that's where you know the joy of the Lord is our strength well you can't get mm -hmm. if love is not an operation the other fruit don't manifest in your life and you see uh, something like the way of love it's like right. wow wow you know um, we're going to hear that in a little bit we're going to come back to that but right. what are some of the uh, in your opinion because you used to lead worship and now right. you're a senior pastor obviously you and your wife um, what is the key to not allowing music to be commercialized, yet right. continue to, to keep the heart of a worshiper, in your opinion? Well, um, this music uh, is, is music that I feel, you know, each and every song 
came out of a time where I just had spent with the Lord. It was being in His presence. And so, um, as I say on the, the CD cover itself, it says mm -hmm. songs that are birthed uh, in the throne room can take one back to that holy place. And mm -hmm. so when you, the closer you get to God, you see it really is all about relationship. Amen. You know, really entering into a loving relationship with God and spending time in His presence. And what I've also found as a songwriter, uh, and this goes for any other gift or talent that anybody has, any profession, the closer you get to the Creator who put that in you and gave you your purpose and, and built in everything in your personality and your gift talent set to fulfill that purpose, the closer you get to the Creator of that purpose, the greater the gift shines. And so mm. uh, what I would say that is... That is very good. Yeah. Uh, do not neglect getting in the presence of God because your gift is suffering. And if you, if you get into the presence of God, you'll find Him saying, I mean, He'll give you stuff. Yeah. And He'll even let you take credit. You can put your yeah. name on words and music by yeah. Kenwood or whatever. But you know, <laughs> he's, he's giving you, I've had songs that I've woken up with. He downloaded and, it. Yeah, just like downloaded. And it was more dictation yeah. than creation, you know. Yeah. So uh, I can see how Handel, you know, when he wrote his Messiah, Handel's Messiah, wow. uh, that, uh, it said that he uh, wrote it in 21 days. And it was so inspirational that when by the time they got to the Hallelujah Chorus, uh, the king is standing up because this whole thing has been awesome. And then when he hits that one, 